Let's talk about people. Let's talk about people, okay? What can't you control about people? How they respond. Yeah, write that down, you know? This is stuff that you can't control, how people respond. Can you control what people think of you? Oh, it's one of teenagers' biggest things that they try and do with their life, is try and get people to like them. But they suffer because, like I said before, suffering is attached to shoulds and coulds and expectations. They're trying to control something that's uncontrollable. There's no guarantees. Mm. Sounds a bit sad, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, man, there's so much I can't control. But that's the position I want us to be in today because we live in a culture that says you can control everything. It's a, it's a, it's a myth. You know, like, when you say the phrase, what if... What if this happens? What if that happens? You're an insurance broker. What if your car gets blown up right now? What if your house burns down right now? Do you have cover for that? It's like, oh no. We have security and like insurance. What if, what if, what if? We suffer. So suffering comes when we try and use our inner resources to control everything on the outside. So everything on the outside like, you know, people's opinions, the weather, traffic. If you have a weak boundary, this is a weak boundary because it has holes in it. Like that house analogy, when I walk past it, it has holes in it. What can get in a house with holes in it? What things? Rodents. Oh, yes. (laughs) Weather. Yeah, people. Mm. And when you have a weak boundary and I'll explain how weak boundaries form, is that everything on the outside can get in and affect your emotional levels, your intellectual property, your effort. They come in to that house that's got holes in it. They can take what they want, walk out with whatever they want and walk back in whenever they want. You get walked all over people. Someone who is an easy target has a weak boundary. 